Um, Ashling, we're up here at the source um, of one of our rivers here up in the Bogland. So what kind of things would we measure up here? Um, well, here's a good place to talk about um, pH and conductivity. Okay, so what is pH? So pH is a measure of whether a water body is um, more acidic or the opposite of that, which is alkaline or neutral. And most water bodies would be neutral to slightly alkaline. But in an area like this, for example, with a lot of peat and with a, a geology that's not limestone, um, you might get a slightly acidic pH. Okay, so will we, we test that? Sure. So what are you using to test it? So I'm using a little meter here and it will test my pH for me and my conductivity. Okay. So what result did you get there, Ashley? So we got a result of 7, which is a neutral pH. Um, below 7, it's more acidic, and above 7, it's more alkaline. So what happens if the acidity is really low? I mean, Well, um, depending on how acid or alkaline the water is, it, it can change what can be soluble in it. So nasty things like aluminium or metals can start to be soluble in the water and then they can become toxic to things that live in the water. Okay. So sometimes in the, in the streams around Inishon, we get a very strong brown, it's like a sludge that flows down the banks of the river. What's that? So that's um, iron that's been flushed out of the peat. Okay. Um, so if a peat is drained, it'll increase that. So I guess um, it's natural, but you wouldn't want to see it happening excessively. Okay, okay. Um, and so the other thing that you were testing is conductivity? Yeah. Have you have you done a result for that? No, that would be a separate... Okay, so this is a separate test now. So I just have to switch the meter to let it know testing for conductivity. Settling around 76, which is um, quite low, but that's what you would expect. Uh, we're here in a peaty area, the geology isn't limestone, so um, you wouldn't expect a lot of things to be dissolved in the water. Okay, so can, can you just tell us what conductivity is? Yeah, so it's a measure of um, how much the water can conduct an electric charge. Okay. And that charge is carried by the little things, the little ions dissolved in the water. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a limestone area, and we know that rainwater can dissolve limestone, so there's a lot of limestone dissolved in the water. So that's why you would have a higher conductivity. It can conduct more of an electric charge. Okay. And so why would you want to measure conductivity? So once you know the signature, the the natural conductivity of the water body. If you were to say work your way downstream and take conductivity readings, if you got a sudden jump, it might be telling you that you have pollution getting into your stream, maybe. So it's also just a sudden drop could be, say for example, um, oil and oil, oil pollution. Okay, so it's just an indicator really. So once you, if you got a jump, then you'd have to look further into what was causing that jump. Yeah, so okay. it just kind of tells you to, to maybe just be a little bit wary and to maybe be a little bit more observant of what's going on on the bank or around the stream.